Good Monday morning everyone. It is currently 6.45 a.m. And I am going to take a minute to do a little bit of preaching, I guess, if you will. Please bear with me. First and foremost, I'm very disgusted with our local meteorologists. Everything that they called for for this weekend has not come to pass. Other than very light precipitation. And of course, that little bout of the grapples, grapples. A big band of snow and all that that was supposed to come in that I showed you. Nope, not at all. Just goes to show that the meteorologists have no idea what to expect anymore. And that they are actually going by the narratives of those that sponsor their stations. Going through the narratives of NOAA and other so-called weather agencies. You have to realize there is no so-called natural weather anymore. And there won't be. Because remember, as I have stated before, when the branches of the U.S. military came out and flat out stated, by the year 2025, we shall have control of all global weather. Now, I would like to go into the topic of content just a little bit further. And I am going to expose a few things. A few violations of policies and guidelines. But first I want to go into legalities. A lot of people don't understand the factor behind how their narrations in their videos are being transcribed into these transcripts that you now find within your descriptions to your videos. They say, oh, well, that way you can read along. You won't get lost with what the creator or whomever might be speaking about. Yeah, that's all nice sugar coating. The factor is, is they've got lawyers that are behind their guidelines and policies. And as we all know, that these guidelines and policies are contracts, legal contracts. They have lawyers that write these policies and guidelines up. Why? For the cases in the future to where if they want to hold something against you, your own words will be their ammunition. Words in print. Can't really do it as far as in video formatted form. No. Words. The power of words. After all, all laws are nothing more than words. Laws are nothing unless there are forces to enforce those laws. Otherwise, they are nothing more than words on paper. Now, a couple of years ago, I learned how important words are through a certain man, I'll just say his name is Mr. Gould, aka the man that owns the American flag. He has the rights to the American flag. Do a little bit of research. Yes, I know there's going to be a lot of 
a lot of aspects about this person and what he's done and all that, and I really don't care to hear about all the debates over over him and the American flag, because I, you know, basically I really don't care. It is the factor of how he obtained the rights to the American flag. And actually, it's not even the American flag. He couldn't gain control over the flag of the United States of America Incorporated. The slave flag that we all pledge allegiance to. Yeah. I'm going to be talking about some heavy issues, but I'm only going to be skimming across the top layers. Well, this man, in order to obtain the rights to that flag, had to go in and examine each and every word connected to the ownership of that flag. And he had to go to court and establish how those words were used and the corrective definitions to be used. Well, unfortunately, I guess I must have ran out of some kind of storage space or something because uh, my camera just shut off, which means I'll get to splice a couple of videos together. But anyways, so through his defining of the American language and the words used therein, he obtained ownership of that flag. That's how strong words are. Words within policies and guidelines now pertaining to content. I am going to show you proof of how YouTube has actually violated their own guidelines and policies and not only theirs but rulings through Google about spam. All right, and I am going to show how these information banners is spam in itself. Spread through YouTube. Spam is repetitive content. Content is anything that you share on social media. YouTube is a social media platform. The largest portion of shared content is in video form. Well, now we are having content applied to our content that we post. And this would be in the form of information banners and the transcribed narrations of your videos. That narration of your videos that is in transcript form, understand the prophecy and that good book about the books of life and death that you'll be judged on. These are not heavenly books. These are earthly books. These are the books of future judgment that allows you into that so-called heavenly city on earth, New Jerusalem, and all that, which is a virtual reality and augmented world. And I will be going further into that as time prevails. You have to understand how to read everything in today's language. But I've got some screenshots that will be following this video here included in this video that will show the definitions, their definitions about content, repetitive content, and spam. These information banners are repetitive content thereby being defined as spam. And as I said, I will go further into a lot of these prophetic words 
a lot of people are talking about but clearly do not understand. For you new people out there, this guy that I'm quite fond of has a channel and he has a very interesting theory about our existence. He's only got but a few videos on his channel explaining his theory and that's all that he has. But if you get a chance, go over to Dragonfire Investigative Research. Again, Dragonfire Investigative Research. Start with the first video and watch the rest. The creator, the content creator to this channel doesn't get over there that often so whether there's replies to comments made it's never known whether that will happen or not. But I'm very impressed with his theory. And it makes a lot of sense in many ways. So if you get a chance, check out Dragonfire Investigative Research. You might learn a thing or two. Alright, so I think I have covered enough maniacal meanings for this Monday. Please stay tuned for the screenshots. Examine them. And give me your feedback. Because after all, I'm exposing YouTube.